That favorite tree you use for shade? It might be extinct soon, and your lunch might get a lot more expensive. It's all thanks to two bugs discovered in Maryland about 10 years ago. One eats trees, and the other eats almost anything. Many are familiar with the stink bug, but few know it costs the state millions of dollars. Entomologist Mike Raub helps with state control efforts. He says the stink bug this is like an unstoppable pest. I call it the perfect pest because as far as we know, it can feed on virtually any crop that's important to us. And after it's fed on your food, hey, guess what? It's coming in your house to spend the winter. Stink bugs have been known to completely overrun a house, and now they're in over 30 states. Apple growing in the mid-Atlantic alone has already lost $37 million in damaged crops. So at a tree nursery in Frederick, Maryland, Dr. Raup's students count and follow the stink bugs to guide future attempts in locating and destroying them. Now, invasive species are nothing new to this area. However, we may have entered a period where the ecological and financial damage is something this state has never seen before. That's because the other major threat is the emerald ash borer. It's the size of a fingernail, but it will destroy every species of ash tree in Maryland. That's 10% of Maryland's trees at risk of extinction. The state doesn't have any solutions because pesticides are either dangerous or ineffective. It can be found in three counties already, and it could reach Baltimore in the next five to ten years. That puts more than half a million ash trees at risk in the Baltimore area alone. It could cost as much as anywhere from 200 to perhaps $1,000 to remove those ash trees once they're dead. You do the math. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. As it spreads, the University of Maryland is taking steps to protect its 88 ash trees on campus. Paul Hemmings is the plant control specialist for the university's landscaping department. We'll be looking for the various signs of it. I'll be keeping track of the state bulletins and all that come out, letting me know where, what they're doing with it. For now, contacting an expert to contain and monitor the problem is all the public can do to help. So if you're visiting the campus, university arborist Josh Nadler says, It doesn't matter if you're faculty, staff, a student, or even a visiting alum or a visiting parent. Anybody can find this pest at any location. So keep your eyes open and hope the experts find a solution. In College Park, I'm Sean McCauley for the UMD News Desk.